Trump meets with GOP lawmakers as outrage over family separation policy grows. Washington, President Donald Trump visited House Republicans Tuesday on Capitol Hill amid calls for the administration to end a zero-tolerance immigration policy that has led to the forced separation of children from their parents at the U.S. Mexico border. Trump's meeting with the GOP conference to talk about immigration was planned before outrage over the policy grew and the news media gave greater attention to the impact on children and families being held in detention centers. Republicans like Senator John McCain, R. Arizona, and Jeb Bush condemned the action and called for the administration to end it. Tech CEOs criticized the policy while industry figures like Judd Apatow and Steve Levitt in turned their attention to the way that Fox News has covered the issue. Congressional offices were getting numerous calls from constituents, and the pressure was reflected in the way that Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell responded to the situation. I support, and all of the members of the Republican conference support, a plan that keeps families together while their immigration status is determined, he told reporters on Tuesday adding that he hoped to reach out to Democrats to make it a law and not just get into some kind of sparring back and forth that leads to no conclusion. Related analysis, and number 039 semicolon Roseanne and number 039, without Roseanne would and number 039 semicolon V being a tough sell late night hosts skewer Trump for and number 039 semicolon monstrous and number 039, family separation policy Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer, however said there are so many obstacles to legislation, and when the president can do it with his own pen, it makes no sense. It's an excuse. He declined to say whether Democrats would support a clean bill that narrowly addresses the issue, but doubted that the legislation would be that simple. How many times has immigration legislation passed in this Congress? How many times? Zero. It's an excuse by Republican colleagues who feel the heat don't want to attack the president, even though they know legislation will take a very long time and is unlikely to happen. In a speech earlier on Tuesday, Trump said the only solution was for Congress to pass legislation to give the administration the legal authority to detain and promptly remove families together as a unit. I don't want children taken away from parents, Trump said. And when you prosecute the parents for coming in illegally, which should happen, you have to take the children away. Now, we don't have to prosecute them. But then we're not prosecuting them for coming in illegally. That's not good. The family separation was triggered by a zero-tolerance policy, issued by Attorney General Jeff Sessions in April, in which the administration pursues the prosecution all of those who cross the border illegally. That in turn led to border control officials separating families as adults waited to be processed through the courts. Senator Ted Cruz our Texas, outlined a proposal that would mandate that families be kept together, provide for expedited review of asylum cases, and double the number of federal immigration judges. But Trump dismissed the idea of hiring more judges, telling the crowd at his speech that, we don't want judges, we want security on the border. We don't want people coming in. We want them to come in through a legal process like everybody else that's waiting to come into our country. Senator Warren Hatch, R. Utah, and 11 other Republican senators sent a letter to Sessions on Tuesday calling for him to stop the separation of families pursuant to the department's zero-tolerance policy while Congress works out a solution that enables faster processing of individuals who enter our country illegally. Although enforcing our immigration laws is an essential responsibility of our federal government, it must be done in a way that is consistent with our values and ordinary human decency, the senators wrote. As he arrived at the Capitol, Trump told reporters, It's been broken for many years. The immigration system. It's been a really bad, bad system, probably the worst anywhere in the world. We are going to try and see if we can fix it. 